Now it seems to be, yeah, okay. Is that working? Re refresh your screen. Let's see if this works. Because we're trying to go live here. Welcome to live chat. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, why don't you head back? Go, go back to uh, newwildmedia.com slash live okay. in just a second. And I'm going to update this. Yeah, because it says the, the link there says Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, that, that that's wrong. So I'm gonna change that. All right, click on that, click on that link again. Let's see if that works. I'm trying to get this software to work. Yeah, it still says, say, say, waiting for David Bourne. Okay. Uh, is that it? What's the name of the, of the uh, web page? WordPress, WordPress updating via Markdown tools? Yeah, I don't think that's right anymore. Because when it made me log out, I lost all that. Oh, okay. So, uh, let, me, let me click that link again. Go, go back to newwildmedia.com slash live. Hit refresh. And then, uh, yeah, it's still the same one. Let me see if it works for me. Because now it says Friday at 1 p.m. EST. Does it say that on the web page? No, it doesn't. So it All right, you got cash. You got to hit it. Clear cache. Yeah, clear the cache. It's yep. The same one. It's working for me. Okay. You got another browser? Let me see if it works for me. Because now it says Friday at 1 p.m. EST. Does it say that on the web page? No, it doesn't. So All right, you got cash. You got to hit it. Clear cash. Yeah, clear the cash. How about I send you this other link? So yeah, send me the other link. I am live, so I'm going to talk to the world instead of just to Luke Harris, who is trying to connect live to me as well. So I'm going to do this. I'm talking to Luke through Zoom. And so Zoom has a chat feature. And I'm going to send you the live link. Let's see if Luke can get the live link. It's a YouTube IDFPAZTS. Got it. You got it? Good All right. Me. So that should be where that is. All right, so what? Uh, well, I'm waiting for Luke to come online here, uh, but let me go ahead and start the recording. My local recording. I got gotcha. you. You got me. Nice. All right. All right, so now Zoom's giving me a... Uh, <laughs> Zoom is giving me a warning message, which is interesting. Uh, can you I still see hear? see mouth moving, but I don't hear you. You don't hear me. All right, Zoom picked up. How about now? You're on mute. Can you hear me now? 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 Here we go. Here we go. Zoom changed my, my setting. I bet you can hear me now. Can you hear me now? Hello. Hello, Luke. Can you hear me now? No? Interesting. See, this is the kind of crap that, oh, I'm on mute. Unmute, there we go. Now you can hear me. All right. There we go. Zoom, Zoom did all that. Zoom muted me. It changed my, uh, changed my audio device. How do you feel about being muted? Ah, you know, it's okay. 
I'm just glad I got it to work. All right, so I'm here with Luke Harris. Say hi, Luke. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for helping me with this, David. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm going to try to bring you up alive here. So uh, I've got Luke Harris on a, a live video feed here, and we're also feeding the, the stream to YouTube because we're going to be talking about a problem that lots of people have, and that is updating your WordPress website, trying to streamline that and go through the workflow and figure out where where Luke's having problems and see if we can figure out some technical ways to, to help him out. So Luke, tell us who you are and what, you, what, what you're doing. Uh, yeah, my name is Luke Harris. I've got um, um, a sales guy, work for um, Metal's company. Um, I've also been blogging um, about uh, leadership development and sales and um, uh, faith and spirituality and uh, things like that. So I've been posting on my website, a WordPress site, ccliffs.com, um, every week. Yeah. And um, just had, had a lot of troubles getting from, I've been writing in Word. Mm -hmm. um, and then getting it into uh, WordPress from there. So yeah. got rid of the Gutenberg editor. So that has helped, but then I yeah. still want to figure out the process a little bit better. Yeah, so you, you got rid of Gutenberg, which uh, for folks who don't know, that's kind of the newer, newer uh, inner workings of WordPress that, um, that's been problematic I think it's a great long-term decision, but it has been problematic because it's totally changed the way I've been using WordPress for the last 10 years or whatever it's been. So you, you just turned that off. How did you turn off Gutenberg, by the way? Um, I think I had to, I had to download a plugin. I think I, yeah. got, I think I got a classic editor plugin yeah. and then right. I had to like make classic editor default or something yeah. somewhere in the settings like that. Yeah. So that got you back to the old way of doing things, which, yep. which, simplified. which was a dream come true. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. So, um, I have a few things that I, and I'm going to switch over here just to, sh to give you a quick. Um, a quick overview of how, let's see, I'm going to switch over here. Quick overview of, of what I do. Um, so you should be seeing my screen now. I think everybody's seeing, I'm seeing my screen on the feed here. So um, Luke, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. Can you see my screen? I'm um not on zoom no how about in your browser um on yes okay I can see it now all right so what this is is i'm going to talk about two things so i want to talk about markdown which is a way of writing for the web and really what's beautiful about markdown is it's a way of formatting in very simplified terms that gives you tons of flexibility on the back end now for this instance, talking with Luke, what it does is you can write very simple text-based um, code. Like if you look here uh, on, on this page, so on the left here where it says upcoming live video, I have that highlighted here. You can see in blue how I do that, how I tell WordPress to make that into a, um, a header. Does that make sense, Luke? Yep. Okay. So all I did was put in two hashtags there. And if I were to change it to one hashtag, it makes it a bigger. Or if I add a few more, it's going to make it smaller. So it's just okay, going. So is it one? One is the H1 tag, two is the H2 tag? Absolutely. You got it. So it's that simple. That is Markdown in a nutshell right there. You do something really simple and it does the hard work of converting it to the, the HTML tag. You with me? Yep. All right. Now the good news in the long-term big picture of, of content creators like us, what that means is if you're writing 
uh, a blog post, you're writing a blog, but then, you know, say in two years, you're like, hey, I want to take all that content. I want to turn it into a, a book. Well, all of that can be translated quite easily into book formatting. So all of your headers, instead of having to go from HTML or plain text where you have to go back and add all those details, it just, it's already there. Yeah. So anyway, that's one of the benefits, but most people don't care about that. Most people just want a simpler way to write, simpler way to publish. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit lower here and look at this click here. So what this is, is I was showing Luke this page because I wanted him to see my live feed. And uh, as you can tell, there's some erroneous information here. Um, well, actually, I just fixed it. But this is how I shared my live link with Luke a few minutes ago. So if you look at the text, so I've got the click here. That's just text. And if you see, I'm not sure if you can tell this, but, but what I have highlighted in blue, that's what I wanted the link to be. So the date all the way from 2020 to EST. That's in a simple bracket. So that's Mark way, Markdown's way of saying, I want this text to be um, my, my text of the link. And then I just put the link here in, a, uh, in between two parentheses. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. So, so you, you, um, you, you just wrote it here on this, um, in this Markdown editor and then it updated yep. um, WordPress? Well, yeah. So that's a few minutes ago I said I wanted to show you two things. Number one was Markdown. Number two okay. is um, now you're on a PC and I'm on, on a Mac, so this is a little bit different. But what this is, if you see, uh, this is a, a, an app called um, Mars Edit. And what Mars Edit does is it talks to your WordPress website and it gets all your content. Like if you were to install this WordPress uh, local editor, that's what this is. Mars Edit is a local okay. editor. If you installed it on your PC today, Luke, and you plugged in your username and password and you told it to go to your website, it would pull down all your posts, all your pages, and it would give you a, a space where you could edit them locally. Okay. So it really can speed things up because there's always a delay when you're going to the cloud and there's always an interface difference when you're going to the cloud. Uh, one of the things we need to be doing as content creators is we need to make links to other things we've written or other things we've created. And so yep. this is one thing that really helps with that. So again, it's Mars Edit on the Mac. That's one of a handful of them that work, but it's my favorite. I've tried a few. It will both. And do you, um, I might be getting ahead of you here. No, it's good. The image, <clears throat> the image in there too, or is that, um, you have to do the, like, I don't know, what is it? The uh, header image or title image or whatever it is. Do you do that in the Mars Edit or do you do that in WordPress? I do it here and you can just drag and drop. Um, and so that's what I did with this image. I, I grabbed a screenshot from a video. I just dragged it onto this page and it, and it automatically put all that in for me. Um, it pops up. Well, I'll show you what it does actually. So let me, so if I just go to, um, let's see, normally I do this. Let me just type in image into the help. Okay. So if I spell it right, add image or file. Okay. So either you can go to a menu and add the image. And what's it want? I'm gonna, that's just, it's wanting to go into Flickr, which I don't use. So uh, let's bring this over. So I can come in here either to Lightroom, I can go into my photos, I can go to my um, different folders, wherever. Let's see what I can find here. 
All right, well, here's a local map that I'm not really gonna wanna choose, but it does, it does allow you to choose some settings here. So, so in other words, uh, make it full size or, or compress it, change the name, add a link, and you insert it and there it is. Um, and so whenever I, now, if I really wanted this image, what I, which I don't, but if I really wanted it, what I would do is I would press this send to blog okay. and then it would be live. And then I will hit the view on the web button and then it would uh, take me right to that. Link. Yeah. Now you can make it a draft or you can make it. Um, but all that did was write all this code for me right here. This image is this code. <laughs> um, so if I delete the code, the image is going to go away because I really don't want that. Yeah, man, that's cool. Yeah, it is cool. So this this code is this image right here. If I were to delete that, it's going to go away. Of course, if I hit undo, it'll come back. So those are just two, two different tools that uh, you could start using to make things simple. Um, now, the, the thing that you and I, Luke, we haven't talked about is how to make this work in WordPress because natively WordPress doesn't work with Markdown. So I had to download a piece of software, a plugin that made it convert this Markdown. So this type of plain text. Yeah. Um, otherwise it, it would just show up exactly like this. Uh, it would just show up exactly like this text. So that is one, one thing that has to be configured. And I do it using a very popular plugin called um, Jetpack, which is... Oh, okay. Are you a Jetpack user or you've heard of Jetpack? Yeah, I've heard of it. I don't, I don't think I, I... I think I have it, but I haven't paid for it or... I don't pay I, for it either. Okay. Yeah. So it, there's a free markdown uh, selection if, you, if you've um, got Jetpack installed. There are some other ones out there. I haven't explored them because I had Jetpack installed. And so the other, the other thing I want to tell you, one thing and I will explore because we're having this conversation, is that Gutenberg, ironically, does this natively. It'll do okay. markdown conversion natively. But because you just turned that off. And I'm not turning it back on. Yep. It's not going to do it. So what I need to do is go uh, log into another, another site, turn on Gutenberg, and then test this and see if it works. Because that, be, that would be simple. Yep. But uh, anyway, so, you know, it's a little bit of a learning curve as you learn Markdown because it's just a different way of doing it. Um, if you like editing or writing in, in, um, let's say you just are absolutely tied to writing in, in Word, I'm sure there's a way you can configure Word so that this will work, so that you can write. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, I can tell you that historically, my problem with Word is that it wants to take all that Word formatting and then... Yeah when you paste that into WordPress, it's like, what in the world? Because you get all this junk that comes with it. Yeah. Um, so when you're drafting, when, when you're drafting a post, you just start in here, you start writing it in, in this markdown editor, or where do you type? What I do is I, I love tools that, that are both local uh, to my, well, I love cloud-based writing tools. Okay. okay, so what I just pulled up now is a, is a piece of software called Bear, B-E-A-R. And Bear is a, um, it is a markdown friendly cloud-based writing tool. You with me? Yep. So on my phone, if I want to take a note, um, I... I jot it down and then want to come and sit down to write, which is typically on my other laptop. Um, you know, it, my notes are right there. And uh, so 
this was something I wrote yet yeah, or Thursday, which was just like, okay, I did this on my phone. I'll do a lot of dictation on my phone. Okay. And so those notes are there. Um, and so as you can see, this H, this is a H1 tag. I can change that. Bear has tools to, to help you to, uh, to change things a little bit more with a little bit of visual help. Yeah. Like for example, if I, if I said, all right, well, I want this to do, I want that to be an H1 as well. So I just hit it. I hit the, the uh, pound sign in there. Okay. And it makes it, it makes it bigger. So I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to switch gears here. Uh, and, and, let folks see your face and just kind of ask you just based on seeing that, seeing how somebody else does something differently, what pieces of that appealed to you? And yeah, I got to, um, so I've got to find, um, an app. I really like that, that you can have a local one and then it updates WordPress for you. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that you just, you don't have to, I mean, if you do the H1 tag in that thing, you don't even have to populate that field in WordPress or um, anything else like that. So it seems like you could, um, it'll, it seems like it'll make things easier. So because right now you, I, I write in Word, mm -hmm. have the picture, have, I download the picture and then I make it you know, I can press it and mm -hmm. then save it to my hard drive. Mm -hmm. Then, so the, it, just getting from Word, I've got to copy and paste the heading in the field and then copy and paste all the text then go through and um, do all the headings, do all the bullet points, do in, the quotes. In, in Word, WordPress. In WordPress. Through the yeah. WordPress interface on a, in a browser. Yeah. 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 Then I, uh, so then I, then what else do you have to do? Yeah, you, ha you have to like select header image, I guess. Then you have to select category. Yeah. Um, usually I schedule them. Um, yep. So I schedule them to go out 2 30 on a Friday. Yep. Um, so all that type of stuff. Uh, getting rid of Gutenberg has fixed a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, but I do, now that I deleted Gutenberg, I need to go back into all my old posts because the formatting in a lot of them is junk. Ah, wow. Old, old images that I put in were um, not working. And, oh, um, that's interesting. Yeah. You know, can you also do some of the like SEO tagging and things like that in Markdown? Like when you like meta description, and um, meta title tag, or does it just do it automatically? You have to do, well, depending on what you're using for SEO. Okay. So if you're using something uh, like Yoast, that's a separate system that... Okay. That you have, you have to fill out all those fields yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You would have to fill out those separately. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll show you one more quick tool that I use a lot that would help with that. So uh, if you're an iPhone user, you may be familiar with the keyboard shortcuts concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I do that on my computer and my iPhone, and you're not a Mac user. So there's a way that you could use them in both places, which I think is really important that we get used to whatever we're doing on our phone, we can also yeah. do on our local desktop, laptop. So I use a tool, and again, on the Mac, it'd be different, but I use a tool, this is, which is a, it's called Type It For Me. And okay. what it does is it takes, I'm gonna switch over so, so you can see this. So this Type It For Me is a full featured, um, it's a text editor. Or it's a it's a it's it takes that keyboard expansion and and makes it it makes it work like with steroids. 
Okay. So I will do an entire blog post. I'll do the basics of a blog post, which my t my keyboard expansion, just to explain how this works. So what I'll do, and I have to stop and think for a second, because uh, I've got so many of these. Um, so when I click NWPT, in my mind, that's New Wild. That's my company name, New Wild, or my, my project name, New Wild Media. NW is my little nomenclature for New Wild. And then I do PT, Post Template. And what that does is it pulls up this, it spits this out. All right, so if I'm writing a yep. blog post, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Mars Edit. I'm gonna make a new document. It's going to be blank, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to type NWPT and hit the space bar, and then it spits all this out. Okay, so I've, I've pre-created all of this, right? And so I have my header, so this is an awesome post. That's my H1. Now... So this is where stuff's heading up, and then I can put in here. So, and then you get the gist of this. I've got my H2 tag, and then I can put in my text here. You follow me? It's yep. already got a basic image. Um, I need to change this image, by the way, but if I just w wanted to spit something out on the fly, um, I could just, my, my goal for this is just to have an, a, a real basic image and I can come yeah, and in if here. You, and if you don't, if yeah. you don't have like another great subhead, you mean, if you don't do that, you just delete those sections. Right. Now here's another thing that I find this very helpful. So you may or may not know you can hide text in WordPress. And so this entire green block here, these are my notes to myself. Like I have the title, I have the, the project name, and I, I, it automatically put the date that I started this post. It, I put a place in here for me to, I have another te text expansion, D-D-A-T-E, that puts in today's date. Then I put in my keywords. And so you were asking about SEO. So it, what all I would do here is, is do an SEO spot and I would come up with your SEO friendly yep. tag. And then here it would be, you know, whatever that is. And so it's, it's just a checklist, basically. Does this make sense? Yeah. I've yeah. even got a YouTube code, um, which if I have the YouTube link, I can just replace this section of it and um, it'll update the latest YouTube, if I did it right. Uh, and then I come in here and grab this and I go paste it into the, hopefully this will work. Yeah. Sometimes this doesn't, doesn't display, but anyway, then what I would do, it's a draft, um, you know, I can put it into a, a category. I can add tags. And then I'll send it to the blog. It'll be a draft. All right, it's reminding me some things are missing. Would you like to send it anyway? Um, that's a nice helpful thing that these local WordPress editors will do. And then I can go look on the web and see what it looks like. Now, I, of course, I didn't finish this. The YouTube, yeah. I just reformatted it. I formatted it incorrectly. Um, the hidden text is indeed hidden. So then there's some stuff I need to delete. Anyway, so that's, uh, I, I guess in a, in a nutshell, Luke, that's three things I showed you. Yeah. Markdown, cool. local WordPress editor, which we need to find out what the best one is on the web. A simple Google search ought to help you there. How did you automatically get your, um, your, what's me calls it, your uh, uh, email, um, join newsletter box. 
Oh, that's uh, so you and I both use ConvertKit. That's a setting within the ConvertKit plugin. In uh, you know, I'm not sure you, where it is, but it's just a. Uh, that's in that's in WordPress. Do you just say because I do yeah. have that set up. So would I just say newsletter? Yeah, it, it's default on every post exactly, or exactly. Okay. Yep, you can do that within out. your uh, within your your plugin settings there in WordPress. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that's another time saver because there's lots of you know there's lots of time savers, and what I'm encouraging you to do is to think about automation. How can I cut down the steps, right? So how can I make this how can I make this simpler? How can yeah. I, let me come back here. Let's see. Bring you back on there. How can I make, how can I just eliminate some of the things that I have to do? So when you look at a tool set, you say, okay, well this tool will do these things and then here's my workflow. I can eliminate this part if it goes from A to Z, I can I can eliminate L, yeah, N, definitely. and P. Mm -hmm. You know, so and that's a that's a mindset that I encourage people to have. Like, you know, let's make this easier because let's face it, <laughs> get, that, get it done more efficiently. <laughs> exactly. Let's get let's make more time so we can focus more on writing and less on posting. Yeah. You know, less on, because there's so many things that we can automate. So yeah. again, mark down for, that we talked about today, mark down a local WordPress editor. And then the third one, uh, I call it text expansion, but it's basically okay. keyboard shortcuts. Yeah. That's what iOS calls it, keyboard shortcuts. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool, man. Super helpful. Well... Yeah, you got to put the time in on the front end to learn a few new things. But yeah. uh, once you do that, it can be a big payoff. So Yeah, definitely. Cool. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for doing this. Thanks Absolutely. Thanks for me through it. Yeah, man. All right. Well, thanks for being live with me. You're, I think you're my first live guest. <laughs> awesome. I feel so special. You are special, Luke. <laughs> you are special. All right, ma'am. Well, I will see you out there on the web. Um, Cheers, mate. Yep. Take care. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, yeah you too, man. Bye. Bye.